I am pumped up today. We got something special. We got two of the best microphones you can use for vlogging for your DSLR camera. We're going to compare the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the Deity D3 Pro. Man, I've been waiting to do this for such a long time. Let's get right into it. Hi everyone, I'm Brett Garamello with BrettGaramello.com and we're going to look at the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. And I've been using Rode mics for over 10 years. In fact, I actually have the NTG3. I've had this one, yeah, for over 10 years. I've used this since I had like the Sony EX1 and some other professional uh, video cameras. I've used that. But what I've been looking for since I've been doing more vlogging, more run and gun type stuff, I want really good audio quality, but the Rode, I don't know if it's the best one. I mean, I guess my loyalty has been to them because they have affordable prices and they have great, they have a great reputation. They make some of the best mics there is. But I've been reading so much about this new company, Deity, who has the D3 Pro. So I just got this. I'm going to open it up. On my camera right now, which is the Canon 80D, I have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. So I've already opened that. I've been using that. You can look at all my videos, you can hear the audio, it's going right now, okay? But we're gonna do a comparison between these two to find out which one is the best one. So let me open it up. We're gonna open this. Man, I'm excited. And it just comes in this nice case, which I like because the road comes in just this plastic. Let's just take out the Deity. And inside the Deity, we have the microphone, of course. And then we got a couple cables and that's it. All right, very simple, but it has a lot of cool features that I'm really excited about that I don't think any other microphone has on the market that I know of. Now this goes over the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and I've had this in there. I never use it because I use the wind muff. I bought it with the dead cat or the wind muff and I just leave that on there because then I can go from filming inside to filming outside. Okay, so just bring that there for comparison in size. Side by side, the Rode just looks bigger. Now, this thing is a little big with the Dead Cat. The Dead Cat is actually about the same size as this. It's kind of, so I'll, I'll show them side by side. This one, the Deity doesn't come with a Dead Cat, but the Dead Cats are cheap. You can, I might just use my Rode one on both of them. That way it's a fair comparison. So for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk about all the features of these two different microphones. I think this is really important, so I suggest you don't skip to the part where I go out and test them. But if you're pressed for time and you just want to see the test, skip ahead to right here. And at this number here, you can see all the different testing that I do. So whenever I do these type of reviews, people are like, oh, don't use subjective words. We need exact measurements. Give us the exact measurements. All right, I'll give you the exact measurements. Okay, I know you can look it up, but I'm going to use a tape measure so it's exactly right. All right, so I got a tape measure. It is, sorry for everyone using the metric system, but I am in the U.S. This is 5 and 5 eighths. So the windscreen is 5 and 5 eighths. The condenser microphone is just shy of 7 and a half inches. Altogether, you're looking at 8 inches. Not that big for a microphone. But for other things, 8 inches ain't bad. Now the first really cool feature that the Deity D3 Pro has that no other mic has is the fact that it has this stepless gain. Okay, so I can move it just down from 1 to 10 and I can move it just in fraction inch, just a hair. I can just make these little micro adjustments if I wanted to make it louder or softer. And no other mic that I know does this because you always have to press like plus 20 or minus 10. A lot of times plus 20 or minus 10 might not be the best setting, especially for if you're gonna use different cameras, it depends, the microphones work differently on different cameras, how they interact. So having this adjustment where you can just make these little fractional changes, this is huge, this is awesome. So I wish Rode had it on its mic, but it doesn't. So DD, I gotta give it to you. This was a brilliant invention, whoever did it, they deserve a pay raise. They also have this other cool feature where you can put this TRRS plug in here and when you put it in here, you can basically use this microphone with your smartphone, with other devices. 
You can also get an adapter. You can hook this up to an XLR cable so you're able to get phantom power and hook it up like a normal shotgun mic. So this thing is very versatile. I gotta say, with those three things that I just mentioned, being able to hook it up with an XLR to a digital recorder, then also being able to use this with a phone and having this little step stepless gain right here, this is the most versatile shotgun mic there is. And for the price, this is $200, and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus is $300. If this audio is any good, wow, I'm just I'm blown away already. But we have to see. We haven't tested the audio, so I gotta I gotta pump on the brakes. I gotta relax a little. All right, I'm, I'm getting a little too excited. Now on the top, it has the high pass filter, the 75 and the 150 is pretty normal and over here you can plug that in and you can charge it up now this battery lasts for 50 hours and the nice thing about this battery when you stop using it it goes into standby mode for a few minutes maybe like 10 15 minutes and then it eventually shuts off if the camera doesn't turn back on so once you turn the camera off you don't have to worry about turning this off now with the Rode video mic pro plus the great thing about that is it turns on and off instantly. So I gotta give the edge to the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus with that, the battery life on the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I haven't used this, so it says 50 hours, it might be more, I don't know. I, I haven't tested it, so I can't really comment too much, but I will say the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, that video mic, the battery lasts forever. I mean, I hardly ever have to charge it. And you can also use AAA batteries, which you can't do with this, so, for battery and power wise, I think the Rode ha has the edge. But if you charge this up, I mean 50 hours is a long time of filming. So basically charge it up once a week and you're good. So there's not much difference in charging time. All right guys, now we have the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and on my camera is the DD D3 Pro. So you can see, you can hear the difference. I had to actually raise the levels up because the DD actually now is all the way down to zero. So I, so I didn't raise the gain at all. I left it at zero as a baseline. And we're gonna adjust that in a little bit, but I'm just gonna talk about the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, okay? The nice thing about the Plus, the main difference is that when I plug this in and then plug it out, it turns on. So I plug it into the camera, it turns on. When I plug it out, it turns off. So that's really nice. You don't have to turn it on. Whereas the Deity, you have to turn it on, but when you turn off the camera, it goes off after a few seconds, after a few minutes. The design and shape, it looks a little cheaper, a little more plastic. The Deity was uh, made of metal, whereas the Rode just looks a little cheaper. That doesn't mean the audio quality isn't good. I'm just talking about the way it's made. It looks just a tad cheaper. The Deity looks a little more well constructed. But like I said, I've been using this mic for a long time, for over a year, and it's been great. Now the nice thing about the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, it comes with this, all right, this windscreen and this dead cat. The Deity D3 Pro only comes with a windscreen. It doesn't come with a dead cat, but I might just take off this dead cat when I go out and I'm gonna put the dead cat on both mics. That way we can compare it having the same feel to it. Now this dead cat is huge, all right? It's much bigger. So in terms of size, how big is this? Well, measured five and five eighths. With the windscreen on, it's almost seven and a quarter, so it's a little over. Not quite as big as the, the Deity D3 Pro. With the windscreen on, it's hard to measure it because the windscreen kind of, it moves around, all right? It's almost like a furry little animal, like it changes the shape way. But if I pull it tight, I don't know how I put that rubber band on last time. I'm gonna do it real quick this time. All right, so if I put the rubber band around it and pull it kind of tight, it's, six and a half to seven and a quarter in that range because it moves around a little bit. This looks actually a little smaller, but they're about the same size. Now the nice thing about the Rode mics on the back, it has the adjustments both for the high pass and for the gain, the gain negative 10 to plus 20, the high pass 75 and 150. The D3 Pro had both of these only with the gain, you can incrementally adjust it. Like I said before, that was a huge plus of the D3 Pro. The road only goes negative 20 to plus 20. 
And to be honest, I've never really used that. I've always kept it at base level and then I've just adjusted my audio levels on my camera, which I'm gonna do in this test, but I think I'm also gonna adjust it. It comes with this nice cord. I actually like the location of this cord. The only thing I found about it, it was just a little too long. The Deity has that little coil curve type thing, looks like a roundabout thing. That thing is great, that little coil thing, because it condenses it in a much tighter space. It doesn't get in the way when I'm adjusting my settings on my camera, on my screen. I also can see my screen a lot easier. So in terms of cords, I will say the Deity definitely is better. And I know it sounds kind of frivolous just to talk about a cord, but it does get a little annoying when you're running and gunning and you have to take a couple extra seconds to adjust it. And then if you have a flippy screen like the Canon 80D, you flip it around, then you have to adjust it again. So it, it can be a little annoying. And when it comes to vlogging and running and gunning, every second counts. So that's why I wanted to bring that up. But if we look at it closer, this attachment is really nice. But on the DD, what's really nice is you can move it closer or move it farther away. So if you wanted to take photos or you wanted to put your eye up to the eye cup, if it's super sunny out and you didn't want to use the screen, as a filmmaker and as a photographer, this is a huge plus that the Deity has that the road doesn't have because it only stays in this one spot and when you put your eye up to it, it's kind of blocked right there because it's, it's hitting your eyes. So the fact that the microphone on the Deity slides back and forth is a huge, huge plus for people who don't have a separate monitor like myself when vlogging. So I just use the screen that Canon has. Now I can put my eye up to it if, if it's too bright out and I don't wanna look at my screen, I can look through the viewfinder and just move the microphone out of the way. All right guys, that was a lot of talking, maybe too much. Time to test it because as we say, the proof is in the pudding. So let's see how this audio stacks up side by side. I know I'm kind of animated. I'm gonna talk in this voice. Maybe I'll, I'll have to tone it down a little because some people, uh, you know, a lot of my videos, sometimes I just talk like this, but it gets kind of boring and I'm very enthusiastic about this, okay? So I'm gonna try to tone it down just a little bit, talk kind of normal, maybe like you would do in an interview. So, all right, so now I'm just talking normal into the Deity D3 Pro. All right, as you can see, I've raised the levels up. The gain is on zero. The high pass filter is also on zero, so I didn't add 75 or 150, that is off. And like I said, I didn't add any gain to it. It's at zero and I'm just talking normal. I'm trying to talk normal anyway. And this is what it sounds like. One thing I forgot to mention guys, I am using the windscreen, the Deity windscreen on the D3 Pro right now. I think I'm just gonna leave the dead cat off for now. We're gonna talk normal. Since we're indoors, I don't think the dead cat really makes a difference. So to be fair to both companies, I'm gonna just add the windscreen on both of them and then we're gonna see how it sounds. So this is just the normal windscreen on, just me talking normal. All right guys, we're back to the old reliable, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. I say old reliable because I've been using it for over a year, I've been using Rode mics for a long, long time. But is the Deity D3 Pro the better version of the Rode? Should I even be comparing them? I don't know. This is a crazy video I'm doing. But I hope it helps you guys. This is why I'm doing it. And maybe I'll switch to the Deity. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll stay with the Rode. I don't know. That's why we're doing this comparison. Okay, I'm filming with the Deity D3 Pro. I lowered the audio levels to right in the middle. And I also went in the middle with the gain. So I moved the gain up to number five. Again, it can be moved incrementally. So there's no way to, I can say it's perfectly at five, but I try to get it as perfect as possible. So we're halfway up the gain and we're right in the middle for my audio levels on my camera. And this is just me talking normal. I'm not trying to talk too loud, but I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go monotone again. I can't do that anymore. All right, so I'm just trying to talk normal. This is just me talking. What do you think? All right guys, we got the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus at DB plus 20. All right, so raise the gain up, 20. What do you guys think? It's better, worse, how does this sound? I'm trying to talk normal, but do I have a normal talking voice? I don't know. Problem is I talk low and then high. So it's nice to have a microphone that can withstand the range. Sometimes the Rode, it peaks too much when I get too excited or I say like a T or an S or something like this. It's, it raises too high. I don't know if it's gonna be like that with a Deity, if it has more 
control over that, but that's one thing I've noticed when using the Rode. But we'll see how this sounds, and that's why we're doing this test. All right, guys, we have the Deity D3 Pro. I raised the gain all the way up to 10. The levels on my camera had to lower down, so I lowered them quite a bit, a little bit down, and the gain is all the way up. What do you think? I'm going to try to talk normal. How does it sound? Is it too low, too high? Did I adjust it right? All right, just adjusted it, just changed it, changed that gain, just to see if you could pick up some humming, some things like that. One thing I will say that I've never mentioned in any of my videos, I do have a ceiling fan. Sometimes I turn it off completely, but sometimes I just leave it spinning ever so slightly. Since I'm big kind of pumped up in this video, I put it spinning ever so slightly. But with the Rode, I've never picked it up. I've never heard anyone say anything. And it's going right now, but it's going so slow, I don't think you can hear it. Right now, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let it go. What do you guys think? Car just drove by. All right, guys, we got the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and we got negative 10 dB. How does this sound? Better, worse, negative 10. We're going down a little bit. All right, moving that gain, negative 10. Does it sound better? Less background noise. Does my voice sound clear? Better sound quality? There's a lot of things you got to look into when listening to audio. Not that I'm an audio expert. I'm not, not an audio engineer. Uh, my brother is a musician, so he knows probably a lot more than I do. Maybe I should have had him do this test with me. But he's a dad, so he's very busy right now. All right, guys, actually, it's a good test right now. Negative 10 dB. I hear an airplane going by. Can you guys hear that? I don't know. All right, it just went away. I'm shooting with a Deity D3 Pro, and this time I moved the gain all the way down to zero, and I put the high pass filter on 75. So how does it sound? High pass filters on 75. What I had to do, since I turned the gain all the way down, and I put the high pass filter on 75, I had to raise the audio levels on the camera. So the camera audio levels went up to here, and that's what it is. All right guys, this is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, and we adjusted the high pass filter, put 75 on there, and we adjusted the audio levels accordingly, and this is what it sounds. By the way, I'm looking, I feel like I'm getting whiter in this video. I don't know if it's because I'm inside so much, jeez. Did you guys hear that car just drive by? That was pretty loud. Does this audio sound good? Does it sound bad? What do you think could be, a, is it better than the DD D3 Pro? Or does the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus have better sound? What do you guys think? All right guys, this is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus with the high pass filter all the way up to 150 and the volume levels on my camera adjusting accordingly. What do you guys think? How does this sound? Did you guys just hear that car drive by? That was pretty loud. Is it picking it up? Did it filter it out? I don't know. Do you like this video? If you like it so far, put a thumbs up. If you wanna give it a thumbs down, wait a little bit, cause we're gonna go outside and test it. Or you can press the thumbs down button twice. That always works. Now, after I publish and upload this video, I may have some revelations. You guys may add some things that I don't know about or I may research and see some other things. So if I come up with something new or I discover something new that I haven't mentioned, I'll put it in the description below. Also in the description are links to both of these microphones. So I'll put all that information in the description below. That way, if there's kind of like an update, you can't add more video to this video because YouTube, but I can add a note in the description. So I'm gonna do that. All right guys, so that's enough filming inside. I think we did enough testing back and forth. Let's go outside and test, because any good microphone can be good inside, but outside is where it's really tested, all right? With the wind, with the car noise, with the natural nature and the natural sounds outside, the natural environment. So let's go test that right now. All right, so this is the Deity D3 Pro with the wind muff on, and I have the gain set at zero. As you can hear me, I'm about, oh, there's a plane over there. There, I'm about a foot, to, uh, sorry, two feet away. Maintaining the same distance for all these so it's you have some consistency throughout this uh, test. Definitely two planes, one over here. I think you can hear that even with the wind muff. 
one over here. This one is quite loud right now, but the wind isn't really blowing. It's just the planes that you hear. But how does my voice sound? Does my voice sound good? Is it better? Or is it, you know, does it have much of a difference between the road and the deity? What do you guys think? All right, so now it's the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and I noticed the airplane and everything around me kind of quieted down, so that's unfortunate. But as we can see, I still have the wind muff on. Actually, there is an airplane, I think, coming now. So see if it picks up that noise. Definitely an airplane going above. And the high pass and all that stuff is off. So I'm just at the using the mic just out of the bat, just like it is. The only difference that I did was I adjusted the levels on the camera. So I moved the levels down for the road because the road is naturally a little louder. All right, guys, so this is the DD D3 Pro and we have the gain on zero. Everything is off and we're using the windscreen. So everything else being the same, the big difference here is that I have the windscreen. I'm about two feet away. Obviously, I adjusted the audio levels. And how does this sound? There is some wind. There's some birds chirping. I don't know if you can hear that. And now there's a plane coming in the distance. Here like two planes in the distance. Don't know if you guys can hear that. All right, so this is the deity with the windscreen, not the wind muff. The wind muff is meant to take out all the wind and stuff like that. The windscreen just comes with the deity. The deity doesn't come with a wind muff, which is why I use the wind muff from the road up until this point with both microphones. But now we're gonna use the windscreen to see how it sounds. So now you can see also hear the planes going above. Does that sound any different? All right guys, so this is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus with the windscreen on, doesn't have the wind muff, and the gain is at zero. Wow, it sounds like some bug or some, yeah, it's gotta be some bug. It's like a zzz sound. I don't know if you guys just heard that. There's some birds chirping over there, and we got the wind moving the leaves a little bit now, just ever so slightly. Can you guys hear that? I also heard the train in the distance, but hopefully this uh, microphone is doing a good job. And I'm also, you know, within about two feet of the microphone. So, you know, just a normal distance, have a wide angle lens. How does this sound? All right guys, so this is the DD D3 Pro with the wind muff on, but the thing I changed was I adjusted the gain all the way up to 10. Now 10 on the DD is the same as plus 20 dB on the road. So you move the DD all the way up to 10 and that's plus 20 dB, okay? So this is the same as the road. It's just moving it, the DD, nice thing about it, you can move it just little fractions. You can turn it, it's a really nice knob. You can turn it however much you want and get the exact amount. So with the road, you couldn't do this, but I wanna have a fair comparison. So that's why I put it at plus 20 for both. That way we can compare them side to side and really see which one sounds better. Is there any difference? Do they sound about the same? Okay, so I adjusted the audio levels on my camera, obviously, because when you move the gain up, you have to adjust the audio levels so it doesn't get blown out. And what do you guys think? How does this sound? This is a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus and we have plus 20 dB. And obviously we adjusted the levels. Let's see how this sounds. There is a plane going by right now and wow it's pretty loud i think you guys can hear that and there's construction going on over there as well all right guys so now i have the deity d3 pro and i moved the gain is at zero but the high pass filter is at 75. okay so the high pass filter is at 75 the gain's at zero and then i just adjusted my audio levels and the wind muff is on the camera and i'm just talking normal we'll see how this sounds a plane just went by obviously i don't know if you heard that and oop, I just heard a train, the beeping of a train. All right guys, this is a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus and we have the high pass filter on 75. Let's see how that sounds. Also, there's a lot of construction that started over there. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully this filters that out. How does my voice sound? Other than that, I'm just talking normal, just talking into the mic. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. So this is the DD D3 Pro and i put the high pass filter at 150 the analog gains at zero there's definitely some construction just started over there i don't know if you guys can hear that but it's definitely a lot of noise over there and other than that how does my voice sound does my voice sound good 
Yep, definitely a lot. It sounds like they're almost like building a house, like they're sawing something, like a chainsaw. I don't know if you guys can hear that. If this is filtering it out, that'd be awesome. But it's definitely going on. And I hear a couple planes in the distance right now. Not too loud, but they are there. Oh, there's a train noise. I don't know if you guys heard that. And oh, definitely a train right there. And <laughs> now we're gonna go into the next test. All right, so this is a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and now I moved it up to the high pass to 150. Everything else is the same. I didn't adjust the audio levels. We got the wind muff on, and there's definitely construction over there. I don't know if you guys can hear it. You should be able to hear it because it's pretty darn loud. And we're just testing, just talking normal. How does my voice sound? How does the clarity is it? All right, guys, I think that's it for now. Let's go back and give you my final thoughts. All right, my friends, I just want to give you my final thoughts on this entire test. So the first thing I want to say is that Deity has the advantage over Rode in that Rode's been around for so long that Deity can come in as a very young company and build upon Rode's achievements, its technology, and its features. So I think Deity has definitely done that. And in the feature department, I think Deity definitely has an advantage over Rode. So let me briefly summarize the advantages of Deity, and then I'm gonna briefly summarize the advantages of Rode so that you can make the best decision about which mic is best for you. So the Deity D3 Pro is definitely more versatile for using with a bunch of recorders or devices without the need for an extra adapter. The Deity has better build quality made of metal versus the Rode made of plastic. The Deity has the adjustable gain, being able to go from zero to plus 20 dB in micro adjustments, but only slightly. Just remember that the Rode has the negative 10. Deity uses a better cord, which doesn't get in the way as much with your screen and your monitor. Deity has a sliding mount so that both photographers and cinematographers can use this mic effectively, whereas the Rode has a stationary mount. Now lastly, I don't know if this is a feature, but for the Deity, it's $100 less for the final price. All right, so now let's talk about the advantages of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. When you turn on the camera or turn off the camera, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus turns on and off. Now keep in mind the Deity only turns off when you turn the camera off. You actually have to turn it on. The Rode has a much longer battery life with 100 plus hours, whereas the DD is around 50 plus hours, so 100 versus 50. And also with the Rode, you can use AA batteries. You don't have to use the battery that comes with it. You can actually remove it and use AA batteries, two AA batteries. The Rode has negative 10 dB for the gain, whereas the DD only goes down to zero. And lastly for the Rode, you have the option of buying the Rode with the wind muff. So it's an extra 30 to $40, but it's nice to have a wind muff. Of course, you could always buy a third party wind muff separately for the Deity as well. All right, so what are my final thoughts about the audio? What are your final thoughts? I'd love to hear them in the comments below. For me, it seemed very similar, okay? It was really a hard, hard comparison. It's almost like watching a boxing match or an MMA fight where the two opponents are so equal and so close that by the end of the fight, it's almost like a draw or a majority draw. So in my opinion, I think I would give it a majority draw or the win to the Deity microphone, but ever so slightly, and I'm gonna tell you why. I think the audio quality was actually slightly better with the Rode. It was much louder for sure, but it just sounded a little better to my ear. However, the road tends to peak really high. So I notice when I'm adjusting my levels in post, I have to bring down these peaks. With the Deity, I notice it's more smooth. So for vlogging and for running and gunning, I don't have to do as much post-production with the Deity, I believe, as the road. I've been using the road for so long and it's just annoying. I have to adjust those levels. With the Deity, I can let it be. Even though the road, I think the audio is slightly better, not having to adjust the levels, the audio is so close. When I say it's better, it's to me it was like you could it's barely even noticeable. Maybe you guys think differently. Leave it in the comments below. So that smoothness and sound made me want to use the DD a little more, but I don't know. The Rode had such good audio. It's really a conundrum. 
I kind of want to almost give it a tie for audio. But then when you go into the features, the Deity just has so many features that the Rode doesn't have. Now the battery and the fact it turns on and off with the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, only the Plus Edition, it is a tremendous feature. And I really never have to worry about the battery or turning it on and off. And to me, that's really an amazing feature. So I've never done a test like this where it's so close. So Deity has only been around, I believe, for a year or so. So it's a relatively young company. Rode's been around for a long, long time. It's hard for me to say that Deity is better when the audio quality was so close. However, it seems like it's a little more innovative and they're a little more forward thinking for what the cinematographers and vloggers and people like us want. So if you don't have either mic, I would say go with the Deity. If it's your first time buying a mic, I would also say probably go with Deity because it's $100 cheaper. So it's worth it just to buy it since these mics are so close. Why not save the $100? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos like this in order to make you a better filmmaker. Thank you for watching to the end. I love you guys. See you in the next video.